Hello, welcome back to Brand Sushi Life Nodding. In this episode, I want to show you the whole process on how to create uh, this kind of rain particle simulations using geometry nodes in Blender. So this is basically a recreation of Celestial Maze. Um, he or she can do it under 27 seconds. So in kind of like a TikTok traditions, or in this case, we are using YouTube, I will recreate this myself without actually looking at the, the notes. Okay, you can read this and try to memorize it, but it's better to understand uh, the process and you can recreate this kind of like particle simulations uh, yourself. If you ever fail, you can always recreate the notes, follow the instructions, and then you try to recreate it yourself from scratch. Okay, so yeah, start from scratch. This is Blender 3.3 Alpha. We have the default cube as usual. I'm gonna go to geometry node, and I will start with the grid. Grid is good in this case because uh, we just want like points, particles that's kind of falling or kind of shooting up, okay? And we can control the size of the grid. Save this very quickly. Simple particle. If celestial maze can do it. 27 seconds maybe I can do it maybe around 10 seconds uh, 10 minutes or something um, yeah but it's okay I'm a little bit OG so it's okay create scatter some points and then we want to push the points we use the set positions and we want to offset the points right we want to offset it up and down so all we need to do is just plug the combine XYZ here and we want to transfer or translate in the Z axis we can use time for that so second frame um, let's plug this into the Z it's gonna shoot up okay if we use a subtract what well, I mean it shoot down okay because it's the, the inverse okay that's fine What's the, net, uh, the next thing to do is uh, we can use math and fraction. Fraction is a little bit like modulo. It's, it's making sure the value is always between 0 and 1, I think. I can use modulo or yeah, I think modulo is similar. You can also try using wrap or ping pong. But in this case, fraction seems to be working fine. You can check the value using the spreadsheet. So if you ever want to check, okay, what's this value exactly? You use a viewer. Okay, the viewer needs to have geometry. So we just plug it in. And now we can see the value okay here so each one of them is changing the value and it kind of goes back to one after it hits zero because of these fractions uh, we can randomize this value a little bit from seconds just use like a random value we want to have some variations be like this so now you can see the the points is actually it keeps appearing and disappearing um, at the same time but it's kind of looping okay that's that's the main point and you can always scale the grid uh, that's kind of like the the emitter mesh so it's shooting the points down okay we, we, we already have something that looks like uh, raining points so that's cool what's the next things to do save this simple rain file save as you can try using like a uh, accumulate nodes or something i don't know you can you can create like the match the the classic matrix rain code rains but for now, maybe we don't need to worry about that. Um, okay, with this this value, we can actually use multiplier. 
okay and with the multiplier you can use another random value if I'm okay uh, maybe keep it within a certain boundary so you have some randomizations on the on the points there um, what's I think I believe this one is actually looping as long you keep it um, yeah if you keep it like under if you keep the frames like 20 within the multiplier of 24 you you kind of you're gonna have it looping so if we have it like 120 frames at the end of the frame it's gonna be the same at the first like the first one so if we actually don't use the subtract it's gonna shoot up actually I prefer it this way so this is just points you can render this using cycles as usual it's gonna be rendered as a sphere ball and remember you can use material and use different color okay and you can actually set the radius of the points as well set point radius random always try uh, I mean just use random at first it helps your brain just to wire and to understand the whole thing before you try other things and instance instance on points that's probably the thing the next thing you want to do and use you use something like a cube yeah this is normally what you want to do yeah unfortunately we we tend to use uh, to lose the radius and it's in this case just plug this into the scale <clears throat> and as for the rotations you can randomize this using random value usually between this and tau minus tau and tau okay, it's fairly random now just um, yeah basics you can always replace the emitter with anything like Susan head for example Actually, yeah, this is Susan. Relative. So now we have some cubes emitting from Susan. Still pretty basic. It's just linearly going up. You can perhaps use noise somewhere, like here with the offset. You can multi multiply this with with noise. I believe it that will work. It might not work, but give it a try. Yeah, I think maybe this goes into the noise and then this goes into the offset. Yeah. It's giving a completely different result. I think it's sort of working and the nice thing of course is looping keep it like 23 seconds it's gonna be looping okay this seems to be working I don't know yeah more or less we have like super basic particle system uh, we can always multiply the scale of the noise oh okay should be after uh, 
Oh well, maybe not here. Not here. Okay, that's the scale radius and okay. Now, yeah, we are, we end up with something like this. It's pretty basic, uh, but yeah, I, I do this after maybe under 10 minutes. But yeah, Celestial Maze, I think he or she made a lot of interesting pause and all of them is explained properly. Um, I guess give it a try yourself and see whether you can improve or add your own ideas. So yeah, hopefully you find this useful. Uh, give it a try yourself. Don't worry if you're actually doing the same thing and making video of your own because you're gonna learn anyway especially if you made a mistakes and then you try to fix it yourself so yeah yeah like I said it's like a it's like a TikTok dance but you're doing it on YouTube and you make your own video tutorial for yourself it's not for other people uh, but by doing it this way you are actually learning all right so hopefully you find it useful thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time thank you bye